Welcome to Tech in Two Minutes. Today we'll be showing you how to do the maintenance on your InLab MCXL. On a weekly basis, you're gonna to have to change the water in the water tank. It's located below the chamber door. So you have this cap removal tool. So I would use this if I need it to, depending on who put it on there. To loosen the cap. Take the cap off. And you move the drain plug. cleaning out the inside of the tank. And at this point, if needed, you can replace the filters. That's an old, dirty filter. That's what a new one would look like. I need to make sure that you emphasize that there's a spring in there. If you have to replace the filter, you wanna make sure it's not all twisted up. And I would put some water in. I don't fill it all the way up because they say at this point, I'm gonna measure out 75 milliliters of Denatec. I'm gonna pour the Denatec in, then I would add the rest of the water. I like to let the water overflow. That way when you put the cap back on, it just spill. And then I would take some paper towels here, dry it off, and then put it back in the unit. On a monthly basis, you clean the filters and replace them depending on your uses, as I just showed you. After that, you're gonna to wanna to check the spray ports. You hit the pump button, Water should start spraying from the water tank and it should be hitting the birds. So if no water sprays out the spray port, first of all, you wanna verify that you got the tank seated properly. And still at that point, if no water spraying, go ahead and get in touch with your local, local service rep. Another thing you have to do every month is clean your block chuck. So you have your cleaning kit from your annual PM. You will take out the long Q-tip. Going to rem remove the sleeve. And just take the long Q-tip and clean down inside your manual block chuck. Then you're gonna switch over and use this cone-shaped Q-tip to clean out the spindle motor. So we remove the burr. Take this. Just clean the inside where the burr goes into the spindle motor. That's it. Along with your weekly and monthly maintenance, you're gonna need to call your local dealer to schedule annual maintenance. Thank you for watching.